Hello everyone, this is CEO 100 Able, and not long ago, I have received 100 million upload views. Thanks to all of you for watching my videos for the past four years. I have been very excited about it lately, so for a 100 million upload view special, I thought I would make a tutorial video on how to run Humongous Entertainment Games via Scum VM on your Nintendo GameCube or Wii, the safest way. Now, the reason for doing this the safest way is on YouTube, I have seen some people modify their GameCube or Wii uh, consoles to run Humongous Entertainment Games on the GameCube or Wii version of Scum VM by in installing and running homebrew software, which I don't think is usually worth the risk because it actually could affect your console's operations, like how the games for their respective consoles are played, and you know all of that. So I'm going to show you how to do this the safest way. Now let's get started. The first thing you will need is a third-party accessory called the SD Media Launcher. It's made by Code Junkies and there are two different versions of this product. There's the North American NTSC version and a European PAL version. If you live in the United States or Canada and if own a North American NTSC a GameCube or Wii, you will need to buy the North American NTSC version of this product. If you live in Europe, you will have to buy the European PAL version if you own a European PAL GameCube or Wii. And this product comes with this, this card reader which fits the GameCube memory card slots. A card reader with a USB port at the end, you can see that it's still bubble wrapped because my copy of the Nintendo Wii is, is the family edition model which doesn't allow me to play Nintendo GameCube games and accessories so this is completely useless. And finally, the software disc. And this is actually it uh, works great for running software externally from an SD cards. And I would highly recommend it. It's safe and there are no modifications and no software installation required or anything like that. The second thing you will need is an SD card which looks like this. This one has a capacity of 2 gigabytes. But your computer has to have an internal an SD card reader in order to prepare your game's files. But if your computer does not have one, you can use an external SD card reader like this. This one has a USB 3 port at the end and it works great for reading SD and micro SD cards. So the first step you'll need to do is to insert your SD card. Now let's go on to my computer in order to show you the second step. Now open up your web browser. Sorry about that, just had to check the borders. Then search for scumvm. Go to the official website for the software. Click on downloads. Scroll down to the older versions on supported section and you'll find the Nintendo GameCube package. When you click on this, you will download this file. It's a zip file, by the way. Once the download is complete, open up the zip file. Now before you extract the folder for ScumVM, you will first need to make a folder on the SD card called Apps. Remember to use lowercase letters. Then and go into the folder you just created and extract the ScumVM folder from the zip file to here. As you can see, I already extracted this folder here, so I'm not going to show you the extraction process. Now, you will want to 
prepare the game's files. Just make one more separate folder in here called Events or Games. Again, remember to use lowercase letters. Then, insert one of the Humongous Iron Team a game just that you wish to use and extract all of its files to this folder you've created. As you can see, I have already I already have a lot of game files in this folder, so I'm not going to transfer anything now. When you're done, disable the SD card. Then connect it to this to the the card reader that you wish to use. I'm using my N N Nintendo GameCube console. It's an actual GameCube because it's my only way of playing Nintendo GameCube games. And since my GameCube memory card is still in slot A, but I want to keep it in there, I'm going to insert this reader into slot B. Then, put the software disk inside the GameCube's and disk tray. Or the Wii's disk reader. Now, turn on your Nintendo GameCube. Sorry about the cut there. Now, the SD Media Launcher software's title card shows up. And it says, please insert an SD card into the memory card adapter in either slot. Hmm. Oh. I should have inserted that card reader all the way in. Now, just go into the apps folder by pressing the A button on your Nintendo GameCube controller. And then go to ScumVM, the folder, and open up the program ScumVM.dll. Now, as you can see, I I have a lot of Humongous Entertainment games listed here. With one Living Books game listed up here, which is The Tortoise and the Hare. So I'm going to play um, the Windows version of Putt Putt and Fatty Bear's Activity Pack. And finally, select the game that you wish to play, and then press Start. And there you go. You finally have um, a Humongous Iron Team game running Hi, on your I'm Nintendo Papa. GameCube or Wii console I'm safely. What game would you like to play with me? Well, that'll be it for this tutorial video, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and thank you very much for the 100 million upload views. I really like appreciate it because it was really awesome. I hope you all enjoyed the video, what so goodbye everybody, and that's about it.